Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to explain how you can uh, easily create a plugin, a useful plugin without being a developer. Uh, this is really a short um, version, short video version, so it means that I'm not going to go much into the, into the details. And I will, in fact, um, let's assume that you already have uh, I'm not going to say an advanced understanding on how to create a, a plugin within Matomo, but at least that you've gone through uh, the documentation of Matomo. So the first thing that you need to have is uh, a dev environment. So a development environment is, let's say, nothing more than installing Matomo on your computer, okay? And uh, to use the GitHub version of um, Matomo, which is the dev uh, development version, which already have lots of uh, different uh, features which are enabled in order for you to test that everything is working fine. So I'm not going to go through all those, all these parts. I will assume that you already have a Matomo ready to be break. Um, ready to be broken. Uh, so next is that you need to create a plugin. So in order to do so, you need to execute the following command uh, within your um, console, within your terminal, to give the name that you want to your plugin, so nothing uh, impressive here, and then to activate the plugin. Okay. Um, once you do so, you will have some files um, on the folder of the plugin that you created, and this is uh, what you should be already aware of if you already started to Let's say create your own plugin without being a developer. Uh, next, you need to, of course, uh, define prior to this uh, your uh, working methodology. In my case, uh, the problem that I wanted to solve is that by default, when you are using Matmo, you cannot upload a plugin as a, in a zip format. In fact, Matmo is telling you, okay, you need for this to act on your config uh, file and to have a uh, true uh, value for uh, being able to upload file, um, zip file on within Matmo. So uh, that's what I wanted to develop. I wanted to add an icon such as the one that you can see over here, which will give me the possibility without going on my server and change the config.ini.php file, the, the value. So what I want my plugin to achieve is, is this. I want, I'm uh, gonna do it like this. Or I can maybe do it um, I can maybe show it to you like this, it's going to be better uh, if I go for diagnostic config file. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have over here the config file and this config file, the only way normally I can act on it is to go on my server and to change it. Okay, so upload, you see enable plugin upload, the value is to one, I cannot change it to zero because I just cannot do it with the UI of Matomo. So I wanted to have a plugin uh, which allow me to change this config file by being able to change it uh, from zero to one. And as you can see over here, if I just uh, click on this icon, which is the plugin that I developed, then this value uh, this value plugin is now coming to zero. So how I succeed this magic thing? In fact, what I did is um, I just looked through the marketplace of Matomo and saw one plugin in particular that I was interested in, which is the um, development Toggle plugin. And this plugin is in fact uh, doing exactly the, the same thing. It's just that it's going to act on uh, the line of the config.ini PHP uh, file in order to do exactly the same thing, but just for the development mode. Okay, so if I go like this development, as you can see here, uh, you get those two parameters, which can as well go to zero if changes are made. So 
Um, my point here is that the plugin that I want to develop as a clone or a cousin, which was already doing exactly the same thing, but just for another, let's say, line of the config that we need a PHP file. So as far as I knew that, and as far as the plugin developed by uh, this person, who is nothing more than Lucas Winkler, that I would like to say hi again and thank you for all his friendship and support. Uh, already developed and developed it under the GPL3 uh, license version, which means that I'm free to in fact audit it and view what's inside. So if I go on uh, the developer uh, repository and GitHub, so you can access to it uh, through the plugins that, uh, plugins.matomo.org uh, marketplace of Matomo, um, what I did is I just audit uh, the different uh, code that he developed and here we have in fact two files that we would like to, to have is the controller and the menu so menu is the file which allow you to place the icon at the top bar of the admin in fact to make the plugin accessible and the controller.php is in fact the file which is doing all the magic in order to get the menu.php and the controller.php you need uh, to create them. So in order to create them, you just need to go on uh, your, um, uh, you just need to go over here and uh, to create them. So you just need to execute uh, console uh, generate controller and same thing for the menu. And it's gonna create in fact those uh, two files with uh, the default uh, configuration. And what I did after that is, in fact, I just copy and paste uh, the code that Lucas already developed, in which I changed development to girl over here by the name of my plugin. Here, uh, those are the different dependencies which are needed for the feature to work. Uh, those features do not change at all. They are exactly the same. In fact, what uh, this one is, is doing, the PWIC one, uh, it's in fact, giving an access to this plugin only to uh, someone who has a super user access. Then uh, here, Lucas defined uh, the variable that you would like to play with. So this one is really created by on, on your own. Uh, true correspond to the value one in the config.ini.php file. And as you can see here, development enable correspond to the category of the config.ini the PHP file in which you would like uh, to send the value to. So here, this is the category and this is the value that we would like uh, to push. So typically, if uh, you look at, uh, at the terminal over here, at the terminal, if you look at the config.ini.php file, it will, it will make sense because as you can see, uh, the file is configured this way. So you get general and here you have exactly what you want. So in my case, instead of being development value equal one, it will be general value equal one. So as you can see, it's nothing crazy to, let's say, duplicate this plugin and adapt it. So in my case, I removed this line because uh, Lucas plugin was based on, on two values. In my case, just had one. And then dealing with the other part, which is the menu.php, uh, so just this part was has to be changed and then over here I just need to change the icons so the icons are in fact um, as you can see here in the case of Lucas it was um, a laboratory uh, icons and it was as well a, a user icon you see those those two icons over here this in this one those are coming from uh, the um, so the development mode needs to be on in order for you to, to see it. The Matomo uh, demo UI, which is over here, UI demo. And at the bottom, you are getting the value for the different icons. So typically in my case, I decided to use this one because that's the icon upload and this one because it shows that somehow you cannot upload any icons. And I went on my code and I adapted those. So as you can see over here in the menu.php, I changed with the icon upload and icon locked, locked and icon upload. 
and uh, I made some changes, yes, here in the order ID, so that's the location of your feature among other features in the top uh, menu bar, so in my case I decided to put on 46, and um, end of the story, in fact, once your plugin is installed, uh, as I did over here, then uh, it's so sticking over here on the top menu bar. As you can see here, uh, the menu is uh, um, currently, the feature is currently off. So it means that normally if everything uh, should work as expected, I could not upload any, any plugin. So I'm gonna click over here and it's telling me, hey, but you cannot upload because the value is equal to zero. And if I click over here, then the icon is going to switch to the other one, and now I cannot. Uh, now I can, in fact, upload my my plugin. And that's everything that I wanted to show you for today. So just to let you know that you can, in fact, easily create a plugin just by inspiring yourself from other GPL v3 uh, software without knowing, let's say lines of code or just by using common sense if you are wondering how to create a plugin which is similar to another plugin already in the marketplace. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.